are you sitting down? Are you sitting down to hear about my date? Well, I hope you are. I hope you are. First of all, let me just say something. I went to the florist, yes I did, to pick Miss, Miss Rose Magoo some flowers, okay? Well, the florist says to me, what is the young lady's name? I said, her name is Rose Magoo. He goes, well, then you should bring her roses, buddy. I'm like, okay, how many roses do I need to bring? He said, well, I would suggest a dozen roses with some baby's breath. I was like, what, 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 what the heck is baby's breath? He said, oh, no, buddy, it's not a baby. It's just some flowers. I said, all right, wrap them up, wrap them up, Sydney. That's fine. So Sydney wraps them up for me. Not a problem, not a problem. He gives me the bill. Oh, my God. Do you know what a dozen red roses go for? How about $56? 50, I haven't even taken this girl out to dinner yet. $56. I looked at Sydney and I said to him, Hey, you can give me a break, can't you? He goes, No, buddy. Times are tough. I got to charge you full price. Oh, my God. I said, You got to be kidding me, man. And you know, roses have thorns. And Sydney left a couple on the rose stem. Yes, he did. Because I told him, Tuck them under my collar. I have to walk the Oh, please. I couldn't put him in a car. I had to walk to Rose's house. So he, he shoved them under my collar. Yeah. Hey, I don't have thumbs, remember? I need these feet to walk. So I'm walking down the street like an idiot because I look like some kind of float going down the street with roses all over me. Oh, please. Play I get to her house. I get to her house. I knock on the door ever so gently. Ah, uh, nobody's coming to the door. I start banging on the door. Finally, somebody answers. Her mommy. She goes, oh, Rose, not ready yet. We got reservations, for goodness sakes. Oh, for God. I, I was very patient. I said, fine, may I come in and sit down? The mother was very nice. I came, I sat down. Well, I'm waiting. And I'm waiting. And these roses are digging a hole in my neck. And I'm saying to my, but where is she? Where? Well, she finally comes down the stairs. I gotta tell you, she looked beautiful. She looked glamorous. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. But I said to myself, look at the time. Look at the time. It's 8.30. It's past our reservation already. She didn't seem to mind. She didn't seem to mind not one bit. So I figured, all right, Miss Rose Magoo. So she goes, oh, buddy, did you bring me those roses? Are those roses? No, they're not for you. What? I'm walking down the street looking like some sort of, I don't know, float. What, roses hanging all over me? Of course they were for her. I said, of course, of course I wasn't talking like that to her. But I th it was going on in my head. So her mommy took the roses and she said, oh, buddy, you got a little cut there. I said, that's all right. That's all right. I'm rough and tumbled. So she says, oh, I'm not going out with no bloody dog. Uh, uh, hello? Hello? Oh, for goodness sake. So the mommy put a Band-Aid on it. Now, I'm sorry to tell you all this, but I'm a dog with fur. You put a Band-Aid on me. Later when I go to take it off, it's going to scream. Yeah. Not in front of Miss Rose, naturally, naturally. So finally, finally, we start walking down the street. Oh, for goodness sake. First of all, she knows everyone. She knows everyone. Oh, hello, hello. Hi, Rose. How are you, Rose? Oh, look, there goes Miss Magoo. I said to myself, you know, she thinks she's really hot stuff, don't she? But I let it go. I let it go because she's ever so pretty. So we walk into finally Butchie's. And I tell Butchie. Butchie, I'm sorry. I had a reservation for 8 o'clock. He goes, oh, that's all right. Rose called in advance. She said she'd be late. She's always late. Uh, what? She called in advance and she told you she'd be late. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Very good. So then here comes Dolly. She's a collie. She's a waitress over there. So I figured, all right, I'm going to sit down. And Dolly took us over to the table. Of course, it was reserved. Oh, and you know what? It didn't even have my name on the table. It said Rose Magoo. You know, seriously. And I'm not saying nothing. I'm not saying a word. She's sitting there cross her legs like a lady. Oh, my God. She's ever so glamorous. And she's a lady. Oh, my goodness. So Dolly comes over to the table with that, you know, her pencil in hand. And she says, okay, what can I get you guys? I said, well, you know what? I'd like to start out with just a bowl of water. Well, here comes Rose. She goes, oh, I'll take the usual. And I thought to myself, what the heck is the usual? So I said to her, uh, darling, could you possibly tell me what the usual is? Oh, she says, I like my water with a twist. I said, a twist of what? She goes, a twist of lemon 
Oh, for goodness sake. I said, you know, Dolly, make that too. So she did that. She goes, do you need time to look at the menu? I said, Dolly, we just sat down. So Rose goes, I'll take the huge. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't even glance at the menu. So I said, what's the huge? And when I said that, they both started laughing. All of a sudden, I hear Dolly laughing, and then Miss Rose Magoo's laughing. So I just say, what's the huge? So Rose turns around, she goes, Dolly, you go ahead, right ahead, and you tell Buddy what my huge is. So Dolly goes, oh, Buddy, let me tell you what she has. Oh, Rose, she says, I put the Cherry's Jubilee on in advance. Wait a minute. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, my goodness. I opened that menu so quick, I looked up the Cherry's Jubilee. $36. Oh, for goodness. I said, what is the use, Dolly? Would you like to tell me where the... So, all of a sudden, Rose, she says, Oh, buddy, I like a good prime rib with the bone in. Uh-huh. She goes, now, make it rare the way I like it. You know, Rose. I like a side of scalloped potatoes. Hey, everything is a la carte on this menu. I was like, wait a minute. Scalloped potatoes. I'm looking them up. Look at them. $8.95. Oh, my God. The steak. You know what the steak cost? Oh, I, I don't even want to tell you. I could faint. $29.95 for the steak. And then she goes, I'll take a big toss, big Caesar salad. Oh, my God. I look. I look. The salad was 18 bucks. Yeah. Can you, I, I nearly fell off my chair. I thought, well, I'm in for a, I'm really, seriously? I'm in for a penny. I might as well be in for a pound. I said, bring it to me, too. <laughs> oh, Dad's card is going to be smoking tonight. That's what I thought. Oh, goodness me. Anyway. So. The meal comes. Let me tell you something. This girl can polish off a steak in two seconds. I'm sitting there so gently eating, you know, trying to be a gentleman. So she's sitting there gnawing away at the bone, the steak. Oh, my God. It's a mess. It was a mess. You know, she had some comments to make about me. She looked like a mess over there. But she enjoyed every single bite of it. Then the Cherry's Jubilee comes. Hey, that girl, that thing is on fire. That's what I said. It's on fire. She goes, no, buddy. That's the way it's supposed to be. I went, oh, my goodness. She goes, now I'll take the vanilla ice cream. Here comes the vanilla ice cream, the cherry jubilee. Oh, and the, I have to tell you, though, it was quite delicious, quite delicious. So, finally, the bill comes. Holy moly! That bill was over $100. Over $100. Between the roses and the food, I was over $100. <gasps> oh, my. So, I hand over the credit card. You know, a debonair, debonair man that I am. I pick up the tab. I figure I'll give Rose about 20 bucks for a tip. Why not? It's not my money. Well, don't you think that Dolly comes back with the credit card? Oh, my God. She says, uh, buddy, you have no permission to be using this card. Wait, wait. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Uh, no, wait, D Dolly, you got that wrong. You run that card again. Run that card again. She did. Now, you got to realize this Miss Magoo sitting across the table from me, and she's tapping her, t her paw on the table. Tapping, tapping, tapping. That's when I realized she was missing a few toes. Yeah. I don't know how she danced. Anyway, she's looking at me. I'm looking at her. I'm doing small talk, you know. <laughs> well, she comes back. She goes, no, buddy. They ain't taking the credit card. Th that's fraudulent. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. I almost, I almost fainted. So I said to Rose, listen, listen, listen. Rose, oh, Rose, uh, do you have extra money on you right now? She looked at me. She goes, I'm not paying no bill. You're taking me out on a date. Oh, for goodness sake. I said, listen, I'll just be alone. Just be alone. I'll pay you right back. I'll pay you right back. She goes, well, what money? You stole a credit card. I said, L listen, don't go there with me, sister. You have no idea. She goes, I know O'Malley. I, I said to myself, you have got to be kidding me. Don't you say. D listen, listen, Rose. Rose. Ro I called Butchie over. I said, Butch, 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 do me a favor. Do me a favor. Slide it. Slide it. Slide it. He said, for you, buddy, I'll slide it. Oh, thank goodness. He just said I had to come back and wash dishes the next morning. So that's why I bet all night long. I was washing dishes, taking care of everything. I had to pay off that bill. And you know what, Miss Rose? Not even not even a lick on the nose at night. I walked her all the way home with my bloody neck. Yeah. And no money in my pocket. Yeah. And she didn't even say, oh, I'd like to go out with you again. You know what she turned around and she said to me? Uh, when you get some money, you let me know. And she got in the house, slammed the door, and I had to leave. Oh, my goodness. Then I had to go back and wash dishes. So here I am, like an idiot, with no money in my pocket. I swear, I'm going to go get myself a job. I'm going to go get myself a job. One that pays. Anyway, my friends, t 
take it easy, and remember, I love you guys.